A solar energy system can reduce your carbon footprint and save money on your electricity bill. But if you only have a solar system, you might not be getting the best results. Whether you put up solar panels to save money or help the environment, the tips below can help use them more efficiently and get the most out of their power. This will help you pay off your system faster, use less power from the grid, and maybe even make enough extra energy to sell back to your utility. Hello guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, I will tell you the top 7 ways to get the most out of your solar panels. The video is going to be amazing, so make sure you stick to the end. Before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Now let's get started. 1. Keep your solar panels clean. Dust on solar panels isn't so good. Dust that's turned into hardened mud through prolonged moisture exposure is even worse. Both of these situations block sunlight from reaching your solar cells. A simple spray and light brushing is all it takes to keep your panels clean. You can even contact a panel cleaning service in your area if you're not comfortable on ladders. 2. Correct installation The best way to avoid facing the brunt of shadows and reducing the inefficiency of your solar rooftop system is to ensure that during the installation process, existing shadows, as well as perspective shadows, are measured. For example, even though your current rooftop may be getting enough direct sunlight to power a solar energy system for your home, if you live next to an empty plot or a construction site that might have some kind of high-rise structure, you need to plan for it. 3. Use apps to manage your usage If there's one thing that will help keep you on top of your solar panels, it's tracking your home's energy usage. Many providers, like PowerShop, offer apps to help you do this. These apps can display your daily, half-hourly, and total daily feed-in. Having all this information at your disposal will give you an insight into when your panels are exporting the most, so you can get savvier with your appliance use. For example, if you find that your system exports the most at 2 p.m., then you may want to set a timer on your washing machine to start its cycle at the same time. 4. Run high-consumption devices during the day. The dishwasher, washing machine, tumble dryer, and kitchen stove use the most electricity out of all the appliances in the house. Timer switches can easily be set up so that they run during the day, when the solar generator on the roof is making a lot of power, which can be used immediately. PV might not be able to handle a high wattage stove by itself. In this case, a large storage unit, like a solar battery, can be used as a buffer for short-term load peaks, because it's not enough to have enough kilowatt hours on the roof. There also needs to be enough currents that can be used quickly. This shows whether a storage unit is made for capacity in kilowatt hours or output in kilowatts. 5. Install LED lights. Older light bulbs only use a small amount of the electricity they take to make light. The rest of the energy is lost as heat. On the other hand, modern LED bulbs use almost all the power they take to make light. A good LED light bulb only needs about a tenth of the electricity that a traditional light bulb does to produce the same amount of light. This means they don't use as much energy from your solar system to light your home. Also, because LED are so much more efficient than incandescent bulbs, they last a lot longer. Changing your home's lights to LED will pay for itself quickly. 6. Buy a battery to store energy. If you don't have one already, Battery systems are a great way to store excess energy as your panels soak up the sunlight. That way, you can technically keep relying on your solar panels late into the night and don't have to worry about switching to the main grid as soon as the sun sets. Installing a dedicated battery system also means you've got a reserve of energy on those rainy days too. 7. Purchase Smart Thermostats Like other smart devices, smart thermostats let you change your home's temperature from your phone or a computer connected to the internet. Many smart thermostats allow you to change the temperature based on the time of day, and some can even learn your habits and set up heating and cooling schedules that use less energy based on how you usually change the thermostat. By installing smart thermostats in your home, you'll be able to keep a close eye on how much energy you're using from your solar power system to heat and cool your home and when you're using it. This will make it easy to make changes to save energy. Thank you guys for watching. Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. I hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe, and we will be back soon with another video.